Okay, this is Paul. Um, yeah, I, I think it's mostly pretty good. I kind of feel like that we didn't really get a good squash. It's you know it's coming down pretty hard on that second one too. So I think you could get a little bit more of a squash there. Um, we can look at that in Maya. So here, you know, stretch, squash, stretch for it, and then. Maybe it transitions a bit. Oops. Like I would have it, you know, if this is the top of the curve, I would have that zero out here. And then maybe get rid of this one. And then, yeah, so on the first contact frame is when it should be its most stretched. And then, yeah, see, you didn't really have a squash there. So there's the squash, and like I always like to do that. And then the next recovery kind of thing. And then this I would get rid of until it gets to the middle of that um, one, and then zero that out. So I think that looks better. So um, let's look at the um, realistic one. Um, I get the idea that it's an erratic ball. It'd be interesting to see if you record any reference for this, but the what's really catching my eye right now is that weird stretching in the middle um, and I think maybe it's spinning too fast as well so let's take a look at that one in Maya yeah it's really um, stretching quite a lot there and I think that's too much Let's take a look at the controls. Um, so the thing is, is you know, with the realistic bounce, uh, even if uh, I wonder why the ball deform. I don't think this needs to be rotated. Um, Actually, it looks like maybe that was not intentional because you do have it stretched and then squashed there. That looks more proper. So maybe that was a mistake. And this one, though, is, is not quite right because this one, because you just have way too many keyframes. I don't think you need so many keyframes on the stretch and squash tool. Um, But this, yeah, that just looks really weird, um, the way it's extremely stretched there. And the way it's just suddenly covering all that ground, uh, it just doesn't look that believable. And it's that it's stretched that way. I might just get rid of all of these. Is this one doing stuff too? No, it's just that one. And then I think that's just spinning too fast here. So it's like here it's not spinning at all, and then suddenly it's spinning super, super fast. So let's um, let's get rid of those and just shift, click, and drag and delete those, and then um, you know you could have it between here and here. Maybe it rotates around, you know, once or something. And if you want it more spinny, you know, maybe it goes all the way to the end.
if you want it more spinny, you know, go around again. I have auto keyframe on, so. That's looking a little better. I still don't really, I get that it's misshapen and so it's bouncing weird, but I'm not really buying that. It just suddenly sort of almost seems like of its own volition sort of throws itself in this direction. Um, and I think that the other bounces would be faster. The other thing is some of the, um, let's take a look at the Y translate curve. You know, we got to look at these uh, curves and, uh, and you don't need a second contact frame on one of these things. Um, so I would really just take a look at these and even though it's, let's break the, I'm probably get rid of that, get rid of that, move this back here, get rid of these. And even if it's realistic, it still is going to have a bouncy shape to some extent, most likely. Um, so I would break all these and uh, just get these, you know, to be a more bouncy shape. So anyways, I think that's getting a little bit better. Uh, I w it would be good to see video reference to see what you're going for. And I know sometimes balls will, you know, especially if they have some spin or they're more shaping, they can bounce in some surprising, unpredictable ways. But just the way it, it's it's kind of moving pretty slow here and falls kind of straight and then suddenly launches itself all the way there it just doesn't look that believable. So, And I think maybe the bounces could be faster overall. So anyways, if you have video reference, it would be interesting to see that as well.